You ready to fight? Ready. Boy, right, Act 3 is here. Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan. And after that disqualification in their first meeting in 2021, Ray Longo refused to put Aljo's picture up on the champion's wall at his gym. It wasn't until Aljo got that finality two fights later against Piotr Jan that Longo decided that Aljo deserved that distinction. And, you know, even Aljo had issues with being called the champion at right. the time, but you can't question that anymore. He went out there and he beat... Oh! Right, hip toss and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flipping him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. Side control. Nice shot there by the champ. Jan getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Sterling. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Sterling's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Sterling's in half goal. Big ground and pound. Under 90 seconds to go. Sterling's back to the side control now. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Jan gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Sterling's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Sterling going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Oh, a huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good battle match, but these fighters came to see nothing. Oh. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Let's get this fight back down to the ground, and then we're in your world. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, effective use of the jab by Pyotr Jan. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, good strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice level change. Elbow. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. 
Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Young. Oh, the elbows are razor sharp, as is the accuracy rate for him tonight. I mean, he is throwing these elbows in combination. It's unbelievable. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Good, solid strike on the ground. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. the top position by Pyongyang. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, big shot, man. Sterling. This guy cannot miss the heads with his strikes. How about the motor on Piotr Jan, D.C.? He is just in perpetual forward motion, never giving his opponent any opportunity to catch his breath. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Good defense blocking that punch. From the mouth, Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Both fighters throwing heat now. 20 seconds to go round two. Good stick. That's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, big moment in that. Ready. Ready. Go. Five minutes to go. Now he's masterful. Oh! survive that or did no, I read my not, last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Sterling's looking for that arm triangle now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He's gonna choke him. There it is. That's tight. Oh, he got out. He actually bridged. Got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. That's it. That's the end of the fight. It's got to be. And there is the A moment for this fighter here tonight called his shot gets the win by way of submission that after party is going to be on fire he got to his position he found the submission he squeezed and got it done it was amazing to watch and it was ready ready Good. All right, early portions of the round, we will see how it goes for Charles Oliveira. This man has every skill you would want in a mixed martial artist, and that's why he has gone from, you know, middling featherweight at times to one of the greatest lightweights of all time. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Rips the body there. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here from the first minute. Hasn't been to this point. I mean, I don't have much to say. I always got something to say. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, beat me there for Oliveira. Look in the clinch there is good by Oliveira. 
And they separate after exiting the clinch. Quick entry to get Man, in on a that single. That was a great single. Oh! What a fantastic takedown. Gets the elbow up into the target. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. that is very, very difficult to deal with. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. He's working, guys. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded and so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So... Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so the fight goes the distance. You see him raise his hand seemingly in victory. When it comes to the submissions, man, he went for it all night. He went for him all night. Every chance he got, he attacked the neck. He had... You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Second round underway. job by Gamble. Well, the book on this fighter coming in, outstanding takedowns, vicious ground and pound. To what extent are you surprised that he hasn't even shot for a single takedown tonight? To the point that I'm questioning his fight IQ and his ego. Because if you fight with your ego, you usually find yourself losing. Right now, he is putting himself in immense danger by not trying to get takedowns. Nice jab by Gamble. All right, different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. How are they standing? What a flying knee to the head. Leg kick is there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. He gets to the single power time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, yeah, he has on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. He's very accurate as a ground opponent. It's showing because he's landing so consistently. Great shot from the top position. 
All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, that has got to be it. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so oh, he got out. Wow, what a great job defensively. Staying aware, staying alert. The moment a little bit of space presented itself, he took it and got himself out of that triangle. Very good defense. 15 seconds to go. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Oliveira. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Big shot to the body. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Whoa! Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Oh, nice elbow. Nice sub attempt. Oh, my goodness. I think he might have it. for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Oh, and that looks tight. He's got it locked in. That's it. Nice submission. Oh, my goodness. Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot, is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner.